All right, so two for two. <laughs> I mean, just it, after, you know, finally winning uh, the mile after second. And it's just how, how much did that help you moving into, uh, into this one? Um, it really gave me a confidence booster. I really wanted to do well. And then racing those other guys in the field, it was amazing, especially Carson and Jake. I haven't been here for long, but I don't know the last time there's two brothers on the podium, especially at that age. It, it's just incredible. And what did you do so well today? What clicked so well? Um, basically, I was just in the right mindset. I had a lot of confidence, and I think that's just what really helps me at the end, especially in free stuff. And I know that obviously the mile helps in the fact that it's grueling and the 400 am is grueling. But what what are some of the intricacies that are so different than you've been, that you've been able to pick up? Um, it's much shorter. So there's a lot more sprinting involved in the 4 am, which is something I'm not too good at at all. <laughs> so I really just try to focus on that last 100 freestyle leg because I know everybody else is going to be really tired. So I just try to keep my focus on that. Which is more grueling? Oh, it, it depends. <laughs> it depends on the day, how you're feeling and everything. Some days I think the 2-3 is the worst event by far. But, yeah, it just What's depends the on the day. 2-3. Yeah. <laughs> what about that? Which, which victory means the most to you? The 1500 or this one? Uh, Probably the 1500. It's my best event, and I'm just glad I could finally pull one off and out. So I was really happy with it. Yeah. What, could you see Carson in the final stretch? Yeah, um, I believe I was next to him the whole time, and I saw him at the end of the brush show. I was like, this is going to be really hard. <laughs> And so I just, I just had to stay confident in myself, so yeah. How was your last turn? Um, I think it was pretty well. I haven't seen the race video yet, so I don't know. Um, Coach Troy actually came up to me and said my turns were pretty good, so I'll take it. <laughs> Can you take us through the injury you had before the and then kind of how you came back from that to have really successful nationals? Um, so I was in a brace for eight weeks. I fractured like my left scapegoat bone and my wrist, left wrist, and I was just swimming in the brace the whole time. I got it off the 19th, so it, it was really hard to that brace. So. It was not the easiest thing, but like over the eight weeks, I was getting better and better with it. So I was pretty happy. Yeah. Were you almost 19th of what? Um, I got it injured on the 24th of May. I got the brace off. Um, how did you injure your wrist? You didn't hit the scooter. wall. <laughs> scooter accident. Scooter? Yeah. See? We yeah. had this conversation. We're, we're not, we're not made on land or anything <laughs> like that. Wait, so uh, you actually like swam with, with the brace? The brace? Yeah. It, was, it was like a full brace cast, I think. So it like went from here, that part on the thumb, like all the way down like, here. Was it something. waterproof? Yeah. On like my actual last day of. Uh, having to practice I actually broke it so we were doing like a quality set and I ended up breaking the brace so <laughs> it was a good thing I didn't need it after that. So how do you, how do you fall on the scooter? I don't know. Was it a single party accident? Yeah. <laughs> it was just me. I mean, we got to stay off the land. Just, you know, just start biking walking everywhere. <laughs> Um, mentally, I think it made me stronger because I was doing every practice with it, and it really slowed me down in practice. So I think it really just helped me mentally, like just have a lot of confidence and be like, I, if I can get through this, and I can get through a lot of things. So. And you have like a scar? Um, I have scars on like this hand, and then they're really not that bad. But the, where the brace was? Like, no, this hand was like completely oh, fine. Okay. Yeah, it, <laughs> it, was, it was a really weird accident, honestly. Yeah, I, I don't even know. Okay. You, you had to wear the brace though, because you broke no, the bone in your left? Yeah. Was it, was <laughs> it? I'm just putting, putting this yeah. together here. You like my hurt. team and everything, they were like all confused. I'm like, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, was that on campus? Yeah. Okay. It was like right outside of Wayne. Oh, <laughs> I think I just brace with this arm, but it's good at least. Last minute, I don't know. But when it happened, did like, your whole career flash before your eyes, like, oh my god, this is it, I'm, I've hurt myself? No, our trainers are really good. I really appreciate them and what they did for me this past 
a few weeks and eight weeks and stuff. So I I just had full trust in the trainers and the doctors to help me get through it. So, yeah. For next year, what do you think your best shot is? Is it like the 15 or the 49? Uh, definitely the 15. Before I am, there's so many people. Um, Chase and Jay. I don't know what Jay won at Worlds. I think he was more way to 49 than 409. So, yeah. <laughs> that's that's going to be a really close race. What separated Zane and I was three times. So I, I really hope it doesn't come down to that. Because that's just going to be a brutal race. Think, so. As a miler, do you uh, do you follow sort of the tradition, the American milers, and you know, like from way back when, Tim Shaw, and all that um, stuff? I know Bobby Hackett and Brian Goodell and okay, just yeah. the recent ones, like Yeager. Yeah. And that's about Eric Ben too. Yeah. So we know Brian. Yeah. All the way back. Yeah. 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 So it's, I mean, it seems like the miles the one race in which that tradition kind of is passed on to you guys. Do you feel that? Um, it's definitely a race that America has been in for a while now. But recently we haven't been doing too well, so I'm hoping because we have a really young field. Um, the mile the other night, I. I saw a lot of 17 and 15 year olds in it. So I'm just really excited what we can do in the future.